Hello! The Ivan culture is filled with many amazing aspects and in this video, we are going to talk about the superstition and the attire of the Ivan culture. So buckle up and we hope you will enjoy this presentation. Hi guys, now I want to introduce the attire of Ivan people. There are two types of traditional costume, which is for men and women. For men is Nepal Laki Iban and for women is Nepal Hindu Iban. This is Klambi. There are two types of Klambi, which is sleeve and sleeveless. They were wear to certain ceremony. The cutting of Klambi is very simple, which consists of a rectangular pieces of cloth loaded to double. This is Sirat. The another name of Sirat is Loi Koi. Sirat is made by a strip of material about 10 inches wide and 10 to 12 feet long. End of the coat is decorated with beautiful embroidery or braiding. They prefer to use coat dyed in dark blue, bright red or black. This is an accessory. They are belt anchor made from silver and the headgear decorated with the home bill feather. This is Lepa Laki Iban. Lepa Laki Iban wear during the important ceremony such as Gawai Dayak, wedding, night dance, performance or competition. Now I will pass to my group member to talk about the entire of women. The traditional costume for Iban women consists of Mari Empang and Kain Kebab. Mari Empang is a combination of beads and hand stitched cotton decorative outer garments. It is usually in red color. Women need to wear this during many occasions or festivals. For example, when they are performing any traditional dance, they need to wear this as part of the outer garment adorning their shoulder. So, this is Kain Kebab. Kain Kebab is a cloth patterned by Thai technique. It is normally decorated with colorful straps. It is made of cotton as well. The length is only about me and it's very narrow. Other than Kain Kebab and Mari Empang, the Iba women also wear a lot of accessories such as Rawai, Lampi and Salampai. Other than that, they also wear lots of silver ornaments such as the coin belt. This is Sugu Tinggi. Sugu Tinggi is a traditional headdress worn by Iban maidens in Sarawak during many occasions. It is handcrafted with floral patterns. Normally, it is made of silver, but nowadays most of them are made with aluminium plated with silver. Overall, the whole costume is called Nepal Hindu Iban. They would need to wear this during many occasions such as Gawai beauty pageant, weddings and also some traditional dance performance. Moving on, in the traditional wedding, a pair of wedding couple must wear the complete traditional costumes. A girl needs to wear the blue headdress, the Maori Ampang, the Kain Kebab and also some accessories which is complete. And the boy needs to put on the bear coat or tiger coat and paste some home bill like feathers. Other than that, they also put a Pakistan cold knife in their waist and also hand her shoe. This shows the, their warrior style and image. It is a perfect traditional image exposed to the people. Hi, let's go straight on to the old belief animism of Ivan and me. So, what animism do mean? The word animism is from the Latin word anima which means brave, spirit and life. The Ivan believe things, animal and places all have different super substantial character and believe in certain spirits and gods who rules different areas of their life. Here, there are six examples of beliefs. 
Firstly, Pentara. Pentara is a form of the Supreme God, the God who creates the universe and the site of right and justice. There are seven deities which are Sengalan Buro, Bibu Bonsu Pentara, Sempulan Gana, Sempandai, Menjaya Menang, Adamara and Mini Adan. Secondly, Sengalan Buro. Sengalan Buro it is the god of the war and its fate always pointing towards the direction of the enemy's country. The Glow, it is the glory and sanctity as well as the ruler of the speed world. It is also known as the Virgin. Furthermore, Sempandai. Sempandai who is the god of creation and reproduction. He used clay to form the bodies of the children. When the children grow up, Male will be the sword of the enemy, and female will be the spinning wheel of it. Next, Supernatural. In ancient times, the Iban believed one of the way to make or communicate spirit is sleeping on the top of some mountain. The spirit can be in any form which is in human form, or in hideous form which is named Nampo. Also, Future Life. Future life do mean an extension or continuous of the present state of things in a new space. They continue their life by building houses, having paddy farms, and all hard work of laboring. Lastly, spirits. The Iban believe illness causes by spirit, hence they deal with evil spirit by offering what they have, such as animals killed in terms of sparing the life of any of, of the people living in their long houses or villages. Before the arrival of James Brooke in Sarawak, the Iban people practiced animism. As James Brooke came to Sarawak, with him came a group of missionaries which evangelized to the Iban people of Sarawak. Due to these missionaries, many Iban people converted to Christianity. But there are also other factors that made these Iban people convert to Christianity. Let's take a look at a few of them. Observing the various plenty malis and superstitions dictated by the traditional augury makes life complicated and introduces delays that slow down one's progress with life and work. The healing offered by the manas is not effective in curing many diseases. Other than that, Christianity is considered as a new branch of knowledge to be adapted to the traditional customs leading to the realization that bad old practices. Christianity comes with Western education, can be used to seek employment and upgrade one's standard of living. The defeat of the Dayak at the hands of the European with better weapons proves that Christianity also brings about advanced technology. So despite the strict adherence to traditional augury practices, the Christianity is actually proven better. Some Ibans consider the Christianity an extension of human knowledge because it can accommodate some of the traditional practices. Some churches and pastors prohibited Christian Iban to practice their ancestors' traditional customary ceremonies such as mirroring. But nevertheless, it never stopped Iban people from changing their religion to Christianity. So these are a few factors that made Iban people convert to Christianity. Hi guys, uh, right now I will be introducing the ceremony and the festival celebrated by the Ibans and right now we go to the meeting ceremony. So meeting ceremonies are performed to honor the gods, the Tara, spirits and the ancestors. In other cases, they perform this just to pray and make the wishes to seek success in their future whether in business or to travel. During the mating ceremony, a pig must be killed to sacrifice to the gods and the spirits. The pig is to tie on all legs to a wooden pole and place inside a granny sack or poly bag as shown in the top picture. Instead of using the whole pig as offering, only a small amount of pig's blood is placed in a plate together with other offerings such as rice and eggs. The whole body of the pigs is then cleaned and cooked or BBQ for the ensued big feast and merry making that sometimes last for days. The 
rooster play a more different role and is always luckier as his life will sometimes be spared in the ceremony after two or more village elders or the guests of honor have gender poems and group honor while waving the rooster in front of the gathering crowd. The corpse skull is cut slightly to obtain its blood as offering to the gods and spirits. The rooster may be killed for the cooking pot or will be free. This picture is showing the Ibans honor the chicken with the gases. Some Ibans consider Christianity an extension of human knowledge because it can accommodate some of their traditional practice. So that's why some of the Ibans turn to Christianity. For the majority of Ibans who are Christian, some Christian festivals such as Christmas, Good Friday, Easter are also celebrated. Most Ibans are devout Christians and follow the Christian faith strictly. Since conversion to Christianity, some Ibans people celebrate their ancestor festival using Christian way and the majority still observe Gawai Dayak, which is generic celebration in nature unless the Gawai proper is held and thereby preserve their ancestor, culture and tradition. Despite the different in faith, Ibans of different faiths do help each other because they believe in helping and having fun together and different in faith are never a problem in their Iban community. Some elders Iban are worried that amongst most of the younger Iban generation, the culture and the traditional will fade away since the conversion of Christianity and the adoption of a more western style of life. Superstition is very mystery things. Usually, the elders will tell about this superstition to the young girls to avoid them to do so. Nowadays, some religious superstitions are no longer existing, but some still. Now, I will be talking about the superstition of Iban people and the fact why the superstition exists in Iban. In fact, the old generation found that lying down after a heavy meal is not good for digestion. Besides, it will, this will cause an overweight. So, this superstition is exist. Oh, I'm so cool, man. Yeah, this meal is filling. Ding, what What are you doing? You can't lie down right after you eat. But why? If not, the mouse deer will kick you in your bum. Next, for this superstition, as this is because a chicken has only one pair of small and skinny feet. The elders do not want to lose the chicken feet and use this as an excuse for the youngest. And in a social norm, nobody wants to listen to your singing and whistling in the middle night. In the middle night, I can't go. Di, what? What are you doing? Playing guitar? You can't play guitar in the middle of the night. The ghost will follow you back home. Because it is disturbing. Most families tend to sleep early because they need to get out early to fun. And for this superstition, in fact, in terms of hygiene, it's very unhygienic to move around while having meat. Ding! What? What are you doing? Did you what? You can't move around while eating. If not, you will have a lot of wise in the future. Airborne germs can cause food poisoning. This is an excuse for the children that immature talks. As long time ago, there was no electric in the long house. So, if children cut their nails without lighting, they easily cut their own fingers. What again? What are you doing? Cutting fingernails? You shouldn't cut your fingernails in the night. It will lead to an untimely death. Lastly, for this superstition, Everyone must know that they is it, uh, against the rule of nature to act cruel on the living creature. Alright, so let's recap. This week, we've learned about the superstition and the attire of the Ibami community. See you next week.